Hey y'all, I'm Sandy, also known as IB Wigan here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If this is your first time watching, welcome. I do wig reviews, tutorials, and a little bit more. So if you feel like this channel will be helpful to you, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, you're always welcome. Over a year ago, I did a video on how I wash Brit. Brit is 100% high grade European human hair. I'll link that in the description box below if you want to watch it. But I do have slight variations in when I wash my European hair versus my Brazilian. I use different water temperatures, I use different products, uh, particularly on Pammy because Pammy is on a full lace cap. Now, I did some research on washing human hair and human hair wigs, and most ways are similar. There might be a slight variation in methods. Some people immerse their hair in their shampoo water. Some don't. There might be a slight variation in the water temperature. I just want you to take careful consideration into how you condition PAMI if you have a PAMI, because PAMI is on a full lace cap. And when you condition your wig, you don't wanna get any of that conditioner on this cap. This cap is fully hand tied on a full lace cap. So if you get conditioner onto that cap, over time it's gonna loosen those knots and your hair will start to fall out and that would be tragic. So I'm gonna take you through the methods on how I wash it and the products that I use. So you need a towel, that's self-explanatory, and you need a brush or a comb. I like to use a wide tooth comb to comb out any of the tangles in the wig before I begin. And this is the line that I use. It's also what the Beauty Nook rec recommends for Pammy, your Brazilian human hair. This is the Awapui line by Paul Mitchell. It is. It has a wild ginger scent. This is their repair line, the moisturizing lather shampoo. It's ultra rich. It has a nice lather to it. It's color safe, sulfate free, but it doesn't leave a heavy buildup as well as their conditioner. The conditioner leaves it feeling super soft, but it doesn't leave that heavy product buildup that you can get with some products because when I'm done, I like my hair to feel lightweight and have that really nice movement to the hair. Uh, if this is not the line that you choose, that's fine. You just wanna make sure that it is a high grade salon product that is sulfate free. Before washing your wig, gently comb it out, removing all the tangles. Start at the tips of the hair and work your way up to the base of the cap. It's recommended to wash your hair about every 14 days of wear. Each time your hair piece is washed, the lifespan of your wig is shortened. So for that reason, you don't want to wash more than necessary. Now here I like to get the water to about lukewarm temperature. And then immerse the human hair wig uh, under the water. Some people like to immerse it into the basin with a small amount of shampoo. I don't like to do that because I feel like it can tangle the wig. Also, because PAMI is so long, I typically will do this in a shower, but because of space, I did it in the kitchen to show you all. So here I will take about a quarter size amount of shampoo and then apply it to the hair. Uh, you want to apply it evenly over the hair piece. You don't need to twist or rub or massage. Just simply smooth the shampoo on the wig. And then I will add some at the crown area and move it down to the ends of the wig, evenly coating it. Now, if your wig is a little bit dirtier than average if it's been longer between washes. You can uh, get a little bit more shampoo and I will 
wash around the front area of the, the hair piece where the oils from my face or makeup has gotten onto the hair piece. So I just continue to smooth the shampoo into the wig, covering it as evenly as possible. If you want to wear a wig cap underneath your wig, that will also extend the life of your wig. That will help absorb the scalp oils and keep them away from the base of the cap. Now here I like to um, make the temperature about cool and rinse it gently until all the shampoo has been removed. Once again, you don't want to rub, ring, or twist. Just gently rinse with your uh, nozzle and rinse all the shampoo from, from the hair. I will rinse it from the nape area, from the nape to the ends of the wig. And then also, I will spray the inside of the cap to make sure there's no shampoo on the inside of the cap area. Now you want to lightly squeeze the excess water from the hair. You don't want to rub or wring, just lightly squeeze. Now we will apply the conditioner. I will get a small amount, about the size of a dime, into the palm of my hands and work it evenly into the hair. You want to make sure that you avoid application of conditioner to the cap area. It can loosen the knots on your cap and that will cause hair loss to your hair piece. So just apply the conditioner where the cap ends and smooth it down to the ends of the wig. If you have any excess on your hands, you can lightly apply it to the tops of the hair. Then you want to squeeze out any excess water and leave the conditioner in the hair for about three to five minutes. Now I want to set the water to cool and gently rinse the conditioner from the hair.
and this is the same process as it was with the shampoo you just want to rinse the hair thoroughly to remove all of the conditioner um, avoiding the cap area And now I will squeeze out any of the excess water, just gently squeezing it, not wringing or twisting. And I will detangle it with my fingers just to get any tangles during the process of rinsing out the wig and continue to squeeze out any excess water now here I will lay the human hair wig onto a clean dry towel and gently just blot any excess water out of the wig. This next step is fully optional, but I like to turn my blow dryer on the low cool air setting and blow dry the cap just to ensure that the cuticles have been fully closed. But as I said, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this added step. Now when you receive PAMI, the Beauty Nook sends you a hook strap that attaches at the nape of PAMI. Uh, the next step I like to do is apply the strap adjuster and I will hang the wig upside down in the shower and allow it to fully air dry. Some people at this point will apply conditioner before the wig has fully air dried but I like to wait until the wig is completely dry before I get ready to apply any heat to my human hair wig and apply bio silk or bumble and bumble invisible hair oil. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye.